Okay, hello, welcome to Roulette Profit and Stop here on YouTube. I'm starting another one of these um, daily setups, but I am going to be taking breaks in between this setup. So this is the sheet, and this is similar, very similar to what I used to do quite a while ago across a number of different casinos. Um, I've got a starting balance of £80. Now, I deposited £10 about two days ago, and that's what this balance is up to now playing roulette and slots so i've got 80 pounds to play with that's my starting amount my daily target is now increased to 450 so i'm looking to make four pound 50 on top of the 80 80 pound and seven pence um so i'm going to play for three days make my 450 minimum or thereabouts take a break for three days come back do four days take a break for three days come back do three days Take a break for three days, come back and do four days, then take a break for three days and then think about doing something different or a similar setup again. Um, I'll make this um, sheet available if you want it on my website, which is uh, rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk. I'll just bring up the title screen so you can gain access to that. So the website address is on screen, rouletteprofitandstop.co.uk. That'll take you through to my website where you can gain access to the downloads. The downloads are at the bottom of the page, bottom right corner of the page. Also, if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. That'd be a great way of supporting my channel. It is free to subscribe. Um, thanks for your support. Okay, so I've got 80, 80 pounds and seven pence. Um, I'm looking to make four pound 50 on top of that. So I want to get to 84.57 minimum. I'm going to play the same table throughout this. This is going to be a lightning roulette table, which is probably bad news, but we'll give it a go. Um, I'll see how far we can get with it. Um, and I'll bring you back to this sheet once, uh, hopefully, I've made my 84.57. Get rid of the sheet. Right, so this is, like I say, a lightning roulette. Not the best. This is only good for entertainment value. Because it looks fancy with all the multiplier of action and stuff. But it's typically the worst table to play. Statistically speaking, it's one of the worst because of the odds. So, hmm. anyways. I'm going to play the Quadrant Roulette tool. Which you can also find on my website. Make sure you check that out. It's a single zero table. So click that. I'm now going to input the history of numbers from right to left into this tool. So 3427. So from the oldest number to the newest. I'm inputting the numbers and then once I've input all the numbers uh, we should be able to uh, perhaps make a few bets six six four zero and a multi eighty three was a multi right so what I'm looking for on this on this uh, tool is any dozen, only sorry, any quadrant, quadrant one, two, three, and four, um, to place a bet on. And the betting criteria is I need to see a minimum of three points difference between the top two highest counts and the corner boxed numbers or the middle boxed numbers. So if you look at the middle, four is the highest, that's got an orange box around it, and the next is three, that's a one point difference. It's not three, it's one. So we avoid that. We've got six and three. Six is the highest and three is the next highest in the white boxed corner boxes. So that's a three point difference. So I could have bet here on quadrant two, which would be 21 by four. So I would have had 32 on this spin. And it's 23, that's all right. So 23. So I'm going to bet on quadrant number two. Oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not now. It's swapped. It's moved now because that's on four. Four and six is two points. Four and two is two points. I've got to wait. So I'm going to increase my neighbour number setting to four. Make that ready. And the numbers you bet on, on quadrants two, three and four, will be 21 to cover the nine numbers in that quadrant. 11 for quadrant three to cover those nine numbers. And number one in quadrant four to cover those nine numbers. The only quadrant that's got ten numbers is quadrant one, zero to twenty-two. So I would cover twelve 
and then click on number 22 on the racetrack on the uh, table layout so we've got five and two is a three point difference so we're going to go with quadrant two which is 21 and this is a 20 pence stake per number one pound 80 spin cost Whenever, whenever I do any kind of progression style staking, you want to be starting off at the minimum chip value you can find. I'm just going to play this table for, a, for a, this month. Try and get this 21. We've got 21 and 34. 21 is 200x, 34 is 150. If it hits one of those, it's job done. Come on, 21. Nope. Number 9. Click number 9. I'm going to repeat the bet. So we stick to... Um, the same quadrant flat rate so this is another uh, 20 pence stake bet so my first three bets will be a flat rate 20 pence per number for three spins my fourth bet that's when I start increasing the stake although technically speaking on this table I should be increase it sooner because the odds without a multi are less than 35 to 1 so I should be increasing it on the next bet. Anyway, 32 to 34. Number 9. So I'll repeat the bet. I'm going to double up now. Because if I don't, I won't get into profit if I hit. Without a multi. Because you only get 29.4999 to 1 on this. 29.5 odds to 1 without a multi-hitting on this table, that's why it's a bad table. There we go. So you're getting less opportunities to get your hits, to get into profit. So I want to get to 84.57. This is my third bet. 34 to 32, 21 neighbour. 21 neighbour, there you go, number two is a hit. Have I got my target? 84.87, yes I have. That'll do for me. I've just used the quadrant roulette tool to build my balance to 84.87. So I'm going to bring up the sh the uh, the sheet, uh, whatever that is. Bear with me. Sheet, sheet, sheet. So now I've got 84.87. So it took me three bets to get that. My third bet was a double up. I've got a double up on my third bet on this one because the odds are not that great. I've made £4.80, just slightly above my daily target, so £4.80 profit. My forecast, if I'm continuing at this rate, daily average, is going to give me £67.20 at the end of the month. That's if I don't hit any multipliers along the way. I'll be back tomorrow to start over. Um, so if you see, my, when I come back tomorrow, if, it, if my balance is higher than 84 87 it's because I've had some free spins, and my free spins will... Uh, boost my balance as well which I can also withdraw so if I get any free spins um, I'll let you know about that and um, that'll be a different value to my end uh, if my st you know for tomorrow if I, if I get any wins on the free spins tomorrow but I'll let you know about that tomorrow um, I hope you're enjoying this content if you are do not forget to um, give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button my subscription rate is growing slowly it's sort of taken a bit of a back seat for a minute or two so um i could do with that sort of igniting again uh but yeah if you can help my channel grow by clicking on that subscribe button that will do me a massive favor thank you very much for your support thanks for doing that if you're going to do that you could also use the roulette tools that would also support support my channel and help my channel grow as well um um share on your socials what i've done if you want to show a show a video off one of my videos or a number of my videos you can share them on your socials uh you know all great ways of supporting my channel make sure you also look at my um my twitter account my twitter follow my twitter account because i send out tweets on twitter um when i've posted something up because you don't always get to see it on youtube i don't think the notifications are that good so um it the notifications on twitter or x or whatever it's called are much better anyways thanks again for your time thanks for tuning in don't uh, let me know what you think as well let me know what you think i'm going to end up with 
at the end of this balance what the end balance is going to be is the forecast going to be right am i going to get a multiplier hitting what do you think is going to happen do you think i'm going to lose all my money uh what do you think is going to happen because there's only a few days i'm playing for one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen days in 26 that's not too bad is it so i'm breaking breaking it up so i'm not playing every day that's the idea um anyways thanks for tuning in thanks for your time see you again soon